my good night. Merry Christmas everyone. I'm so glad and happy to be back. I know it's been long since to catch up, but you know what? I got you guys. So welcome to Foods 254 where we prepare and sample Kenyan delicacies and not forgetting the nutritional aspects of this food. So I want to introduce my guest today, some young, handsome, well you call singles, gee, nini, but welcome to the show, oh. Chef Brad. Yes. <laughs> My name is Chef Brad. Mm. Uh, thank you for being here, uh, I, for I inviting prefer, me. Actually, too. I prefer calling him Chef Henry, but he goes by the name Chef Brad. And he can work. And he can work. Yes. But he yakuza. Yakuza Gina, Uza Sura, and Chef Brad. <laughs> Ata Sura. Anyway, yes. so welcome to the show. Sante Sante. I am so happy you're here. I'm happy to be here as well. Christmas, Kwanza, Temia, Chrissy. Mm-hmm. Now, let's go Yeah. Let's go to we need to torture. <laughs> we need to torture We're torturing, literally. Yes. So tell them who Chef Brad is. Uh, as you've heard, my name is Chef Brad, Henry Wambua. Uh, I'm a chef by profession, basically hitting eight years in experience uh, in the industry. I love food. That's the reason why I came to cooking. Uh, my mother also inspired me to cook. She's a really, really great chef. Mom, when you go, Santa Sana. I'm a consultant, as well as uh, I have my own brands for cooking. Uh, hashtag cook with bread, uh, Maya's Organics. Yes, and the rest, Tajuan Okombele. And how I wish you came with the... The your, cooking brands, yeah? Yeah, the cooking ah. brands. Because I've seen them actually on social media, mm -hmm. and I love the packaging. They look so nice. And they taste nice as well. And they taste Don't nice. forget that. Next yeah. time, Aki Uku Because oh, this definitely. is not the last time we are having this show. Again and again and again and again and again. And again, and again. again, and again. Yes, okay. yes. Mm. Cool. English Yes, what we are kitu ndani to Uh we we have uh, a masters in English. Oh. Yeah, unajua pale accent kidogo. Lakini when we come here. Maji na tunyorosha pia corona accent pia. So we we got that. We got it. We got it. You got, got it. it. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. this Christmas season, mm -hmm. what are you preparing for us? Cool. I'm um, going to make two dishes. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a starter which is a biting. Okay. And uh, we're going to have the main which is a uh, fish based. I love fish. Basically, being born in the coast. Oh, you're uh, born in the coast? Yes, I was born in Mombasa. That's why you see Kiako ka accent ka nini? Ka uko? Not really. I was born in Mombasa and raised in Nairobi. So, <coughs> yes. Oh, rich kid. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, um, <laughs> we're going to use simple ingredients to make really awesome dish. Okay. Um, I have a biting of uh, curried fried deviled eggs mm -hmm. and uh, a fish okay. based uh, mangoes, which this is, is uh, a fish fillet. A fish fillet, okay. which I'm going to, you know, do a dry rub on it, okay. and then make some nice garlic butter sauce, uh, vegetable a la gremolata, and hey. then we're gonna have creamy mashed potatoes. Hey. Yes, simple as that. Chef Brad. Yes. Mm. Brad and you, same. <laughs> and what they say is a little yes. bit different. So cool. where do we start from? Cool. Uh, can I come this side, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we'll start with our egg. Okay. If you need any help, tafadare. Definitely. I'm here. So this is boiled eggs. Okay. Hard boiled. Uh, 15 minutes in salt, that can work it. So we're going to half it. Okay. Go slowly. And we see... You know the way you, you bembeleza a baby? Uh, That's how you bembeleza this egg. <laughs> baby, I'm a... Baby, I'm a... There's baby, <laughs> baby, baby, and there's uh, bay. So and there is baby, baby, baby. Mimi na bembeleza baby. baby. <laughs> okay. As fragile as this egg. Okay? okay. So I just half it like that. Hmm. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then we're going to remove the yolks. Okay. Oh, you're going to remove the yolks? Yeah. Okay. So this yolk, I'm going to put... You're going to discard the yolk? You'll see what I'll do with it. So this, this yolk, hmm. what I'm going to do with it is I am going to make... It into something like a paste. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it thicken. It thicken. This dish is really f flavorful. Watch any angalie ulimi kidogo. This is something flavorful. Eh? <laughs> trust. Okay, I got this. Yeah. You got this. So simple as that. Oh, then you. We mash it kidogo. Bonda, bonda. Uh, I'm gonna take butter. Okay. Put it inside to make it uh, fluffy. Okay. Then uh. 
mixed spices, just a kitogo, kitogo too, just a nice sprinkle. Mm. Then curry powder. Curry powder is by all day, every day. You love curry powder. I love curry powder. You know, you na shanga sana. Kila chef na kuzanga apa. Yeah. Soy sauce, soy sauce. We have to. What other? What's that other ingredient? Soy sauce na tomato paste. Wait. For me, I don't use tomato paste. <laughs> you know, it depends with where you are trained mm. and who trained you. Mm. I don't use tomato paste, I don't mm. use royco in my kitchen. Mm. Just a dash of salt mm. and a dash of uh, chili powder. Chili puree. Yeah. Go easy on it. Mm. So it will go easy. Yeah. The baby. Yes. Okay. So. As you take us through your journey. Yes. <laughs> when you hear my English. <laughs> but then you've I'm sorry, got, anyway, you've got, I'm just messing up. No, 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 I you're not to, messing up. Uh -huh. You've got nice English. Asante sana. Yes. Thank you, uh, thanks to the British who colonized us. They left us with good accent. You know, when you go to Uganda or Tanzania. Yeah, I... <laughs> by the way. Yeah, <laughs> on apologies. A note. <laughs> but then you... Uh, uh, I went to IHTI International, that's in Kilelesho. Oh, I know You it. heard of it? Yes. I took... Uh, yeah, what to kawaida? Oh, punk, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what to kawaida? I took um diploma, mm. high national, high international diploma in mm. culinary arts. Okay. So I majored re really in culinary arts. That's my major. Hot to be kitchen. precise, hot kitchen. Oh, okay. For all the men out there, chefs who are in the hot kitchen, respect. Mm. It's, yeah. it's 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 uh, it's hard. Hot kitchen is is the best place to be. For pastry, we leave it to the women. Really? Yes. <laughs> Good. So. Meskia. I went there for like two years, mm -hmm. uh, two and a half to be precise. Mm. Meanwhile, let me just, okay. just tell the viewers back home. Yes. So I'm going to pane. Pane is simply to breadcrumb. Hey. So you're going to use the method, wet hand, dry hand method, okay? Hey. So let's get Bread. dry hand. I'm sorry, am I going too fast? Layman. Sour. <laughs> pane is simply to breadcrumb. Okay. The process of breadcrumbing. Okay. It's called pane. So for me, rather than using the same hand to do everything, oh. I use a dry hand and a wet hand to avoid uh, messing kitchen. up. Yeah. Yes. So I'll take my egg. I'm going to dust it on my flour. Mm. Then wet hand in the egg. Oh. See that? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My eye Drop it. Dry hand. Eh. Easy peasy. Eh. Then we'll squeeze it. That's what we say. Hey! So, so I'm going to arrange them there. Mm. Simple as that. Again, oh, nice. dry hand. Mm. Take it back there. Mm -hmm. Wet hand. So avoid, avoid messing up. Avoid messing up. Yeah, this is okay. another way of avoiding. Drizzle. Take it back. Dry hand. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I went to HTI. Did two years. Mm. Uh, it was a really nice school. Mm. For me, I'd recommend that school. If you want to learn new things, in culinary, you know, things mm. are changing each and every day. You said it's in Kilelesho? It's in Kilelesho and Nyeri Road. Mm. Yes. Okay. So after there, I went for my internship. My first internship, I wanted to explore. Mm. So I went to Ashnil, Ashnil Aruba. It's in uh, Savo East. Oh, Savo East. Yes, Savo East National Park. Mm. I'll use my career. I love traveling. Mm. That's one of the things that made me become a chef. Okay. I love traveling. Then I went to Ashnil Aruba mm. Lodges. I did my internship uh, three months. Mm. Uh, came back to school again. Mm. Finished school. I then went for another internship. Mm. That's how we usually do it in IHTI. Oh. So that they want you to have as the much exposure as you can. Yeah, exposure, experience. So by, by the time you're graduating, mm. you'll be... Most of us, to be honest, not just theory. I'll be, I'll be honest. Most of us, when graduating in HTI, yeah. most of the guys graduate kwa Oh wow! Yeah, like to kumbele, mbele, mbele, literally. Hale. Yes. So, okay. yeah. So that was my journey. Mm. After that, I went back to Hilton Hotel. Oh, you I had there? the best. My first, my second internship was at Hilton Hotel. Mm. And. Uh, Kitambar. Yes, I'll just dawasha <laughs> too. Yeah. Okay. Kindly put that on for me. Okay. Kindly. You have to be courteous in this industry, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. so, so you I went to Hilton? Went to Hilton. Mm. Three months. Yeah. Uh, Hilton wanted to absorb me. Yeah. Uh, so after that, mm. actually I was working as schooling. 
Oh. Yeah, so I was getting more exposed as I can. Mm. More and more and more and more and more, the more. Mm. So you were working at the same time you were... Schooling. Um, really helped me a lot, although it's not... Honestly, it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy. Because there's a time that I used to do night shift and go to school next day. Ooh. For me, it's not about the money. It's just about the experience. You know, mm. I wanted to gain more and more experience. So after I graduated, I went back to Hilton Hotel. Mm. I worked with them mm. as a casual. Then I felt, I want to change. Mm. For me, I need change. I need change every day. Like, mm. I need to see something. <coughs> I'm thirsty for knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take that back. <laughs> no. I stick to one. <laughs> I stick to one flavor as much as I can. Okay. So that one flavor, <laughs> if I want to make it more flavorful, I garnish it, okay? Good. I do more things so that you see more can I your flavor. You get me end up yeah. change another flavor. Yeah. You feel me, right? Yes. Feel you? <laughs> <laughs> Good. So I worked at Hilton. After Hilton, um, I left. I went to uh, mm. Azua Hotel. Where is so it? the Azua Hotel is in Westlands, Pride in Azua. Mm. By that time, it was called, uh, it had a name, something Azua. I forgot the first name, keeps on going. Mm. It's Indian. No, okay. it's Indian. <laughs> I, I learned a lot of Indian cuisine. Oh, really? Yeah. You're going to do So for me, it's just going all around, all around. Let's learn new things yes. each and every day. You feel yeah. me? Mm. So, yeah. So after. You want to come this side? I wanted to defy these things. Okay. okay. So after Azua Hotel, I, I went to. By the Jashika, Shika Moto. After Azua Hotel, mm. uh, some guy, some guy, just some guy somewhere, mm. like a big fish Mali. Mm. I don't know where he saw me. Mm. Uh, the same way I saw you in the computer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I don't know where he, he saw me, by the way. Mm. Uh, he wanted me to be his private chef. Mm. Wow. So, yeah. So I was catering, I was preparing foods for really, really high end people, high profile. Mm. It was really amazing. I had a chance to meet really, really big people. I couldn't have been an intuitional need to call people. Yeah. So I had a chance to meet those guys mm. and to meet big people, Dubai, mm. people from Dubai, really, really big people. Mm. I've cooked for guys in the government as well. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I had a good experience, worked there for like an year and so, mm. actually two years. I left, uh, I felt like I was thirsty for African cuisine. Mm -hmm. So I went to a Mica restaurant, only for three months. Okay. For me, my reason for going there is to learn, to learn our culture. I don't want Uzungu Zungu in Indian Dani, but I went there and learned um, African cuisine. Mm. Um, Samaki Wakupaka, this, this ugali brown. Yeah, you can make ugali brown. I'll, I can it's try. It's hard. I can try oh! make it. Can you make mrenda? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Guys, imagine I'm just kidding. Chef Brad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I can't make mrenda. <laughs> I, 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 I can using my knowledge. Yes. I can. Yes. And uh, I don't know if I can make it the way to specifications. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I went to a Mika restaurant. Mm. I learned a lot of things. Mm. Although for me, you know, in this world, mm. Kilamtu anajua Kenya nataka. Yeah. I didn't sure. feel that African cuisine kind of thing. Where are connect to the feel? Yeah, kuna vitu na feel. Because you know, I was know na feel zingine. Oh, you didn't really feel the African. Uh... Yeah, the African vibe now. Nah, because hey. the training I underwent, mm. you were trained to, you know, uh, do European cuisine. Mm. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, a bit of a, a bit Ooh, of sorry. Afrofusion. It's okay. Mm. A bit of Afrofusion cuisine. Mm. Yeah. To me train you not to work here. Yes. Because to be honest, I'll be honest with you. Kenya, the industry is not really selling. Mm. If you want to learn a lot mm. and good money, mm. and happy, and, uh, and I'm a Jew. And I'm a up, up. Yes. Yeah, so after Nini, I went to, after that I got a contract with Richard Leakey. Mm. You know, if you've heard of Richard Leakey. Meskia. I got a contract with Liki. Mm -hmm. uh, I was his private chef because he had like really, really big researchers coming from from UK. Mm -hmm. So I used to be his chef during that period. He has a high end facility in Turkana. Mm -hmm. You know, they the study bonds I've and been stuff. I've in Turkana, but Lodwa. Lodwa. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a place called Takwell. Oh, yeah, I know Takwell. No, we were near River Takwell. Okay. Yeah. We are plating as we are talking. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> what was this again? This, mm. this is the yoke now. You are asking yes. where, they will, where will the yoke go? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. 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 
So we're gonna plate this. Mm. I'm just gonna use my hey. offset spatula. Where? Okay. Kwa them na tuwa shati. Six pack heavy. I'm a chef at Tunanga. Are you sure? Ah, Tunanga yoga. Where are you, cameraman? In white. Who you enjoy now? Who do you mean? Is that for industry? For industry. A certain pasuka. Yeah. For the sake of plating. When it comes to plating, you need you need space. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, this is a nice biting. Back at home, you can say use a bit of <laughs> coriander for coriander. garnish. Coriander, okay. Yeah, like that. Simple like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay. and a nice garnish, yeah? Okay. You'll be my first guest to test that. Can I test that other one that... Yes, So please. that this one to a bigger picture. Oh, yeah. Let me garnish. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So this is our biting back at home. You can make a couple of these ones, uh, just pass arounds. We call it pass arounds, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when I pick up our geni, we keep it like we can't pick it. We shall go to our store. What we shall go to? Shall go to Ambua. And what what are Shanga easy? What are this? <laughs> you want to test? Come. <laughs> she wants to test. I think I'm done with this. Mm, it's yummy. It's delicious, yeah. I kill your bite in a big one. Aki, is this even tasting? It has chili powder. I hope she tastes it. It's okay. Amezoya. Mambo ya kawaida. Good. So we are done with that. We can now head to mm. our main course. Good. So for our main course, we're going to do uh, creamy mashed potatoes. Let me just repeat that for the viewers back at home. Okay. Creamy mashed potatoes. For the creamy mashed potatoes, I'm going to use... Uh, if you don't have cooking cream, you're going to use milk and mm. butter. Okay? Then a bit of seasoning. Then after that, we'll go to our dry rub, mm -hmm. uh, tilapia fillet. Dry rub, uh, a bit of chili, a bit of mixed spices, salt. Actually, I love the egg. Thank you so much. <laughs> a bit of salt. Then for our vegetables, mm. we are doing a vegetable a la gremolata. So the gremolata, gremolata is a seasoning, is Italian, mm. um, that consists of parsley, mm -hmm. uh, coriander, uh, lemon zest, uh, minced garlic okay. and a touch of salt. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're gonna saute them on the pan okay. with the onions, carrots, and zucchini. Okay. So we're gonna blanch our carrots, okay. easy peasy. Think around three minutes, because we need that crunch on it. Mm. Uh, there's something when it comes to nutrition. Mm. You don't boil it so much, because you're killing the, the vitamins. Yeah. Uh, vitamins, they get destroyed with heat, a lot of heat. Mm. Cool. Yes, yeah, so after Vipingo, I came back to Nairobi, mm. uh, worked as Fallis with my boss, Tim Chanel. That guy, he's the best boss I've ever had. Tim I'm Chanel uh, is, is really... Is he watching? I hope you're watching too. <laughs> uh, Tim is from UK. Mm. He's a really good guy. Mm. He taught me a lot, uh, together with Anthony Huff. Mm. Taught me a lot again. Those guys really trained me. Then... In Follies, I was a sous chef. Mm -hmm. That's now where I started now. What's a sous chef? A sous chef is an assistant head chef. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So okay. in Follies, I became the sous chef. <coughs> Just let me come this side, please. Okay. It's <laughs> Leona Nicole. Sante. Mm -hmm. in, in, with bread, eh? so. in Follies, mm -hmm. I was the head chef. Mm. Oh, no, sorry. I was the sous chef. Mm. Sous chef means uh, assistant head chef. Okay. Uh, we, really, <laughs> we really learnt a lot. Mm. Then I worked there for almost two years, then left the place mm -hmm. for growth and development. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to Mombasa, Diani Ukunda. Mm -hmm. Ukunda is, I got a job there as an executive chef okay. uh, at a salty squid beach bar and restaurant. I think my water is boiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My prep oh. cook, put that there. Sita Chomeka. Oh, is he? Sour. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, sorry. So, um, winky winking in the nanny. <laughs> we are literally, what we are doing there, what she's doing, she's blanching it. Yeah, I'm blanching. We are blanching it, then we'll put uh, a bit of salt. You just add that one. Yeah, so that blanching is just cooking it. Uh, mm. It's like you're pre cooking it. For a few minutes. For like a few minutes, yeah? Yep. So, there we'll just put a bit of salt just to add a bit of flavor. There you go. So this one is going to cook for like two to, two to three minutes. Yeah, two to three minutes. Okay. Okay, give me, a, give me a, a, 
a cooking another cooking thing. There you go. I mean I could use. Yes. You 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 are using me. You are using you, me. You know you're right, eh? Yeah. So we're going to use a This is a zucchini. Uh the difference between a zucchini and a local cucumber is that zucchini is a bit smooth. Mhm. Mm uh cucumber is the texture is quite rough. Yeah. And uh, it's also big. Mm. Yeah. But this can this can this be eaten raw? You can eat it raw. Mm. This is how you're going to eat it raw. Mm. Use a peeler, peel it, oh. make really thin ribbons, okay? Yeah. So with that you can incorporate it in salads. Yeah. For example, there's one salad that I love making a lot. It's called the ginger power. Mm. So I use the carrot ribbons, zucchini ribbons, cucumber ribbons, mm. a bit of uh, iceberg lettuce. Mm. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna use a uh, zucchini. You can play along with your vegetables. My mm. my vegetables are really. I love working with orange and green. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's actually orange and green in a later combination on Zore. So for me, I like removing the seeds because of moisture, seeds. moisture contents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I don't want it to start sweating, sweating. Mm. So. Okay, roll on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Akikama hizi azinge kwa za presentation. So I went to I went to Diani. Mm. Uh, these guys from UK. I don't know how to UK. I'm so much. The, I don't know. Mm. From one Briton to another Briton to another Briton. So they can now sana. So I know how they behave and how they you know. Yes. Their work and everything. Mm. I went to Diani, Salted Squid Beach Pen Restaurant. Mm. Uh, I, I, I commanded that kitchen. Mm. I had like six chefs behind me. Mm. Uh, they're really old, by the way. I think I was the youngest guy around. So I'll shanga uyum tonto wa fani ni And that's where I come by saying, mm -hmm. in this in this journey, no, it's okay. In this journey, mm -hmm. you need to know what you want. Yeah. Like guys like those ones, tapatamta make a one section for quite a long time. Exactly. You know, yeah. and and there's this newbie that comes yes. fresh from, you know, Nairobi and uh, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And bam, he's there. He's your head chef. You get. Yeah. So I went there, introduced, I introduced really, really amazing dishes mm. from my knowledge. Uh, we, did more, we did more seafood. I'm a seafood guy, mm. literally seafood guy. You can seafood. call me the seafood peddler. Sour. <laughs> Hi, seafood peddler. Yes. <laughs> what can I get you today? <laughs> so okay. we're going to get our red onion. Okay. Uh, what we'll do, we'll just core it a bit. For me, I love coring it. Remove this hard part. That's coring it, yeah? Mm. So what we're going to do, we're going to julienne it, okay? Oh, I've had that term before. Julienne is just a type of cut, but it's slender and thin. See that? Come on, kujikata, tulijikata. Oh, kujikata is your third name. Trisha Zoya. So I think by now, the carrots are the way we wanted them. I switch it off. Switch it off, then drain the water. Then we're going to put them here. We're gonna put them where? Here. Yeah. Oh, and I drain the water. Yes, please. I might just serve from uh, here. What do you think? Just I put drain. the carrots and then, because okay. we're gonna use the pan next. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So I was in Diani, mm. stayed there for some time mm. until COVID happened. <laughs> COVID. Now, after COVID. Mr. Uh, COVID. No, I went, there's, a term, there's a way you were calling it. Coroni. Coron Coroni happened. <laughs> That's how Trump's called it. Oh. Coroni. Okay. Uh, Coroni happened, uh, came back home. Mm. Uh, it was it was tough for everyone to be honest. Is it this again? No. You sure? Mm -hmm. I want to discard this there. This this is edible, so you can discard yeah. it here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Coroni happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, for the chefs out there, and they, you guys are strong. For those who made it through Corona, mm -hmm. uh, for those who didn't, keep your head high up. Mm -hmm. Uh, see Musho. So Rona came back, Rona came and uh, went to sell my cooking products. Mm. They started selling me in samosas. Mm. Yeah. Kanza deliveries. We have to survive. So yes. you think of what you need to do. Yeah. Started uh, gourmet samosas, then products, cooking products and everything. Then things started coming back slowly. Then mm. Kido Kidogo went back to consultancy. So mm. I trained, uh, if you're opening a new restaurant, holla at me. I got your kitchen covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Apart from that, Kibandaski, to be honest enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll refer someone. No, like, uh, Brad, not talk from one unique Bandaski, Chapo beans, and as a Kuzako. You are just. I can refer someone. Okay. 
Yes. Bennett. <laughs> Not Bennett. <laughs> Bennett is uh, Bennett is <laughs> my person. Hata ayuko hapo kwa chapo beans. Na, na. Yaani uwezi kuja kufungua kibanda sikiamke ya chapo beans. Can I be honest? There's a friend of mine. <laughs> to be honest, there's a friend of mine who opened a something for chips. Mm. And he's like, "Is he come through and show me these things?" And I did it that for free cuz he's my friend. Mm. Uh I I showed him how to make really good chips. Is it chips zamtani? We are bored with that. So I showed him how to make really good seasoned chips. Mm. Chips una kule you say mau. Wow. Mm. What is that? <laughs> Cameraman, <laughs> I hope you're not salivating. <laughs> Yeah, so I've helped. I help even the in short I'm saying there's a side yetas wako chini. Yeah. Okay. I can help. Wara tutu askizana. Oh, for free cuz sasa hapo utalipisha nini? Yeah. Like Ni mtu niweke credit kwa simu ama ka, ka fuel. <laughs> not 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 to be rude, I know. but <laughs> You feel me? Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> Just put that one for me. <laughs> okay. There's a time did I mention I I train? Mm-hmm. I train uh, I've mentored young chefs. Mm, upcoming upcoming chefs mm. uh, even some who have literally made it in the industry wow. i've really mentored them sometime in 2019 2019 i was all about training and consultancy mm. so i i got this nice contract with nita mm. uh, to train their students i had oh. like 50 students wow alikuwa menkula kichwa sana being a lecturer is not easy for the all the lecturers and teachers out there and this is all one now i understand uh, you guys you are young like this also sir alafu unajua ni come young pale so iko shida kidogo male na ma walikuwa mixed mixed it's just a kawaida class to ya wani nisumbua lakini chakis elewi hapa anaweza kukukaa alafu it was so crazy like i i i could teach i could teach theory and and like ladies on my cart and bale and we're going to talk and i'm like yo what did i say you know so you have to be you don't know, with them you have to be unafaa uko tough na wao otherwise it's so tough yeah eh well so wanakwambia oh teacher today is friday what are they? and i'm like you know me i'm a family man to be precise uh um, i'm married i i have a wife and two kids i have a wife and two kids yes so they were when i was starting the show it's okay no no problem Brad, you're so young to to be married. What do you mean? I'm not this young. Is behind the scenes. Hey, oh my god. I like it. I'm not young. Ni uso inadanganya kidogo. Eh. Unajua kwetu ndevu umetukata kidogo. Mpaka umejipaka mafuta ya Mombasa mpaka. To be honest, I mimi want, I want that. Nini yake? The flambe. That fire again. Can it happen? Give me zest of vinegar. Okay. Ace up. <laughs> Sorry. I keep that I was mistaking you for a single. Mm-mm. I am wow. married. Sijajua tukipika tuvai sana na pete so. <laughs> I know. Msikue, msi msichanganyikiwe. Uh, I'm married to a really beautiful wife. I'm married to a very beautiful wife and I'm blessed with a uh, daughter. Mm-hmm. The son? Mm. Yeah. Nice. nice. You like that, yeah? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So in we're going to throw in our zest and garlic okay to bring that gremolata in it okay gremolata 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 <laughs> you know cooking is more about uh, italian and uh, mostly italian and french because okay. that's what we use in kenya uh, italian and french method of cooking ah uh, now even you're trying to you get if you go yeah. somewhere like rwanda or uganda mm. these guys are using their own traditional thing mm. yeah I went to Uganda I tested their foods. Hey, how is it? Those guys are here wana kula. They eat but honestly speaking um to be honest I'm a food critic. Mm. So I, I don't check on in a food mm. or restaurant if it's bad. It's... Can I see the chef please? To be honest that's how I am. Wow. Ha! You command. Eh? No, I get it though. This time I was there's a time I want to eat pizza. And the pizza I, I won't say the name of the restaurant. <laughs> If they want they can hire me out I can you know said yeah food reviews out the pande yeah the pizza was really crap to be honest <laughs> we go we go you know as chefs mm. we go direct to the point yes it's crap if it's crap it's crap mm. like bin it or take it back mm. uh if you're a head chef unaweza lewa what I'm talking about mm. as head chefs okay we make sure there's a place called the pass whereby mm. I stand there and you bring the food and when you bring the food to me Mimi ni final say mimi kusema. Yes. Either look at it for example in your letter. Mhm. Sindo? Yes. Like start for table one. Yeah. I come look at it. You know wipe the plate, I taste it kidogo if it's bad, I could be sure. You get. Yeah. You know why? Wow. 
Really? So, yeah, so that food review is really important in a restaurant. Yeah. Very. If, if you want to lose business, hire out cheap labor. Or say when you how just some you know you're gonna lose business. I mean, team passion. Yeah. So that's money they should learn. See, that's money. Eh, so you know, mama kipika. Kone kone ni. You know. Good. I know. You see, if something happens, <coughs> see when you mess with your kujiwa, it's you with the boss. Like me, my bosses used to really rough me up. It wasn't easy. Wow. That I knew how Britons are with cussing. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't easy at all. Good. So. Next to our fish. Oh, fish. We'll use this mm. for the sake of presentation. Aye. When you not tasting behind the scene. Sour. Sour. So what you do with the smell mm. is number one. Use a lemon. First thing first. Mm. Use a lemon to kill the smell. The taste. Uh number Go two, on. use your seasoning, right? Mm. Garlic powder. Use anything with garlic. Mm. If you want to kill any smell of Yes. Or, or test. Yeah. Use garlic. For me, I use garlic. Garlic works for you. Yeah. Salt. <coughs> and lemon. Yes, please. Can good. I have a plate, please? Amma, let me just use this one. Okay. Good. I hope my table is not messy. Mm. Messy is your fourth name, I think, for now. Okay, but, but... so we'll take a lemon. Sujikata, my dear. Kwambia kani kujikata. Do that. So, mm. oh. squeeze on it. Mm. Do you know that lemon can cook this fish even without putting it? Oh, it tenderizes it. There's a dish called uh, ceviche. Yes. We eat them. Even in Diani, we used to make ceviche. Ceviche is a. Uh, it's Peru cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> like Nini cuisine, you can't even get it. Me, I'm not a chef. So, a bit of salt for seasoning. <laughs> so some of these ones are. Is, okay, uh -huh. So, to make a lemon. Mm -hmm. To make squeeze lemon, to make a salt. Okay. Next. Ata say it's kiss me like. Yeah. So make sure when you kill. Yeah. So for me, I I, I love flour. Mm -hmm. Flour because flour helps in keeping it crispy, mm. uh, giving it a brown color, and helping it not to stick on the pan. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm gonna use Help put my fish back here. Away. I'm, I'm so excited with those, those the, the things you were saying. Which? Did you winky winking, kinky winky? Is it peasy? Oh, is it? Pastors and men are winky winky. Is it peasy? <laughs> it's easy. My, my lecturer used to tell us that. Is it peasy? And we were like, what? He's just saying, is it peasy? And it's damn hard. I'm saying, she's dying in it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Hmm. Yep. There you go. Okay. So, our pan is hot. I'm gonna okay. put a bit of oil okay. for pan searing it. Hmm. Meanwhile, as we continue, let's mash our potatoes. Oh, yeah. We'll put a bit of milk. That's enough. Okay. And then a bit of butter. Ba oh. ba That's what they say. <laughs> 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 Can I have more butter, please? Yeah. Yes, please. Just there, just there. Santi. For that, continue mashing. Okay. Then Louis and me is thinking that I'm making. Uh, you're garlic. making uh, that huh? African cake. That you African. know, this time I was in coast. Uh, I made ugali. Hmm. White one. I'm the, the brown one. Uh, normal too. The normal one. I made. I gave it to my boss. Uh, I was like, just that. Uh -huh. He tested. He was like. What is that? <laughs> he's like, that's quite. A he's a Briton. He's like, mate, that's quite. It's it's really tasteless. That's what he told me. I was like, but it is. And that's how we like it. You mm. know? Yeah. He's like, Brad, that's quite tasteless. <laughs> that's what he told me. <laughs> yeah. What, what was, is that? He was <laughs> eating ugali with yeah. what? Uh, <laughs> ugali and skuma. How do you give a muzungu gali? No, I was just telling him, just mm. test that, mm. so that you can do a cuisine here too. Eh. So we're gonna pat it up. Bruh, that's really bad. Ah, yeah. Excuse me, okay. please. Okay. So gently, neka, zuri too, like that. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So our fish is coming to where? Our fish is coming to life, okay. as you can see. Umongeza milk. 
Yeah. How long is anini? Milk oh. and butter to oh, make okay. it more fluffier. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Good, good, good. Good. And even the fire. And the and uh, you can simmer it a bit. Okay. So fish it in mm. So what we'll do next? We're going to best the fish. I love basting. Basting is okay. basting is literally uh splashing it with the butter. Mm. Yeah. So I'll put butter in melt. Oh. The okay? Okay. It's a nirukia. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, this. So at home, if you have a pan, uh, you can use it. So this method, if you're doing a steak, if you're doing um, a fish, anything that you're grilling on the pan, mm. always baste it. So put butter, lean it on the side. Okay. Okay. After it's melted, now under kuyosha. Okay. okay, it helps it to be smooth I and see. delicious. We say delicioso. You speak Spanish? <laughs> well, for movies, more than movies are Spanish. Then you know, ah, translate. Esmeralda. Yeah, these are my dinners. Okay. There you go. Pole pole too. You can continue matching that. Oh, okay. Pole pole. 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 Yeah, so with this, yeah. you can base it like that, and then you can add a, a rosemary over here, oh. or a rosemary or a thyme prick. Mm. Yeah, so mm. yeah, there is smooth. Yeah, mm, smells nice too. Yeah. I'm doing like this because I don't have a pan, so when you have a pan, mm. you do oh. like this. Oh, yeah, okay, 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 yeah. Okay. I think you can turn up the heat as well on the mashed potatoes. I turn up, turn up, turn up the heat. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, turn up. Maybe we turn up me. On Friday. Turning up. Other cameraman on the other side. There you go, like that. I think that's enough. <laughs> then you switch it off. Let it rest there. Oh, okay. So when you're basting, guys, um, remember to put oil first, then butter, and then now baste it. Okay. If you put butter alone, butter is gonna burn up. Real quick, okay? Yep. So our creamy mashed potatoes. Mm. For me, there's my my first lecturer, mm. my mentor. Let mm. me just call him a mentor. He taught me that salt is the last ingredient mm. when you're cooking. Some of the things, mm -hmm. mostly sauces, mm. stews, things like this, always the last one, okay? Mm. It's called Mr. Kangede. Uh, Wherever you a, are, Kangede. I thought he's Italian. Nah. Uh, <laughs> he's just Kangede. Too. <laughs> so we want to serve. Ever remind us the name of this meal again? Now we're going to serve our main course, mm -hmm. our main dish, main entree. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a nice fish fillet. Yep. Served with the uh, creamy mashed potatoes, uh, yeah. vegetable a la gremolata. Mm. And then more, one more thing. We have to make our garlic butter sauce. Oh. Yes. Gotcha. I'm done with this. Sante. Thanks for Trisha. You're not going Okay. Now we're going to continue with our dish. We're going to make a sauce. Each and every dish that you're making must have a sauce. Okay? So take a set of dry. They're going to chalk. Okay, so what we'll do, we're gonna make a easy peasy uh, sauce you can ever get. I call it the garlic butter. Mm -hmm. Check your garlic. Mr. Butter. But Check the butter. <laughs> what you do with the butter, don't <laughs> let it melt, <laughs> emulsify. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't go to. Mm -hmm. What I want is like a thick consistency. Okay. It's like a bureau blanc. Mm -hmm. You know, a bureau blanc sauce. Mm -hmm. It's French. Mm -hmm. The French call it a bureau blanc. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can see there's heat. Yes. You go too. Oh. I'll just throw in a bit of minced garlic. Mm. There you go. Staki mm. melt kabisa. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Gonna do yake too, Eva. Cheza na yo too. Pore pore. And then, I'm gonna squeeze in a bit of lemon. Kuna ile nyolko mekata. Yeah, ikisha enda. It's my fault. 
ultimate. Oh, excuse some lemon. Anything with fish? Mm. Lemon. Okay. There you go. And that's Simple it. as that. We're done. That's it. Uh, where's that? It's quite big. It's uh, quite big. Huh? Yeah. Um. That's nice garlic butter. It's garlic and butter. Ba uh -uh. <laughs> I'm all concerned with you, but please come on. Nah. Okay. It's okay. So let's present this thing. Mm. Presentation is key mm -hmm. for all the chefs out there. I know. If I you know. cook, now present Vizuri. So I don't have a piping bag. I like it rough. For me, I don't do things on two balls in a way. Okay? That's quite classic. It's old school. Who got Lisha Toka? If you do something like that in my hotel, mm. I like it rough like that. Mm. So to feature your mawa, kita all good. Happy with the vegetables. Hey, mindo kuinama. Sorry, ba. You need another spoon? Yes, please. Um, okay. Mr. You have to be gentle when doing this. Okay, we are almost there. Mm. <laughs> can feel crunchy. the crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, simple as that. Mm. Okay, oh, okay. Come on, get some money toy. Then we are going to take our fish. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. That side up. Mm -hmm. There may be garnish. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Creamy mashed potato. Oh, and this. Pan fried is... fish fillet, vegetable granulata, and. Uh, Garlic like butter sauce. Yes, featured the veggies. It's, it's a way of presenting. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, enjoy that dish. Oh, thank you. 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 Mm -hmm. So to me, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You, nice it. <laughs> and you can use uh, margarine. Mm -hmm. Margarine, which is uh, margarine is a uh, vegetable based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and butter is animal based. Wow. Yes. So margarine, <coughs> margarine, blue buns, whatever you have in the house, mm -hmm. on the pan. Okay. Yes. Yeah. For the mashed potatoes, we said if you don't have Cream, use milk. Yes. And you don't have butter, use margarine. Okay? Hey. I'm good in lip syncing. They just tell them Merry Christmas. And so, yes, happy New Year. Home. Have a good Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Take care. Stay safe. Stay safe. Maintain mm -hmm. social distancing. Wear yeah, mask. Social distancing, At, maintain. <laughs> for me, I have a COVID certificate. I can show you. I'm clean. I am good, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And enjoy yourselves. Happy Merry Christmas. Yes. Please, if you have any question, if you want to reach him, social media handles are called? Uh, at Just Bradley. Mm? That's it. Mm? At Just Bradley. That's oh, okay. J U S S, -S Bradley. Oh, okay. Uh, Facebook is Brad Henry Wambua. Mm. LinkedIn is Brad Henry Wambua. Mm. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, how to contact us? So if you have any query, <coughs> please reach him. Usim Rich, Kumuliza, Kumambebla, Kosmat, please. Kazi, Kazi. Work. <laughs> work, 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 work. Masaya Simon, you could talk a Sambia Subui, Unless the emergency, unless emergency, yes. So, for those who have not subscribed, Sijuni so Wambia Nini because to enjoy Christmas in Africa, so come out to subscribe. You need this amazing meals, amazing for this dish. Season. Subscribe so that every time we post new videos. Come here and turn post, you get notified. See you again on Thursday, same time, same place. I wish you a merry, merry, I wish I was able to sing because you guys know I sing, right? So, bye bye.